Mm -hmm. Well, now to your side, Weekend Morning Edition is keeping you up to date on any news that you may have missed. Here's our Weekend Review, a recap of some of this week's top headlines. One of the suspects in the Hustle Martin murder case headed to court for his final hearing before his trial. The pretrial motions discussed for how much Dora should really have to see. The VA department opened a new outpatient clinic. The clinic is able to serve more than 100 veterans a day. The light's gone out of the world. No, he's not here. People around the world are mourning the death of David Bowie. Fans from Madonna to Kanye West tweeted their condolences. The Greenville City Council heard some good news as Uptown Greenville presented their mid-year report. Over the course of the next three years, we will see a 400% increase in residential living in the Uptown District. And people standing on the tables yelling and chanting. 13 North Lenore High School students are facing disciplinary action after a large fight broke out in the school cafeteria. I want to focus on the next five years, the next 10 years, and beyond. President Obama laid out his vision for America, one he says builds on the successes of his time in office. The Powerball jackpot stands at a staggering $1.5 billion. It soared over the past two months. Today alone, they've already done $12,000 worth of lottery tickets. There are three jackpot winners from record-breaking Powerball. New details in the Jacksonville double murder of 17-year-old high school senior Khalil Kirkland and 72-year-old Carl Eisert. Police revealed a second arrest and a third victim in the case. An overnight break-in at the Boys and Girls Club in Winterville forced the club to shut down for the day. Whoever broke in here tried to get in through the vents first, but when that didn't work, they used bricks to break the window.